Hi, my name's Bob Greenier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so this is Atomic Phoenix Update 3. In the last update, we talked about uh, the uh, code that had been um, extracted, and it was nice to see Mats from Sweden and uh, David Davis uh, from uh, America chime in and also Stevenson. Uh, what was established then was probably that we need to have a, a layout trace of the PCBs uh, to be able to work out what the code is doing. And actually the systems engineer uh, fired up at the end of the last update. Uh, you will see that he fired it up. There was some errors going on with the screen and stuff, but it, it did seem to at least fire up and lights came on. And so he decided that really it needed to be traced. Uh, there were some components that um, he didn't know what they were. And David Davis spotted one of them, the 74LS28 chip. And the idea was to go and try and uh, work through these various uh, current sense, voltage sense, sort of uh, uh, water level, electrolyte level, pressure sensor components on there. And you can see his discussion here, if you go to the live document on the uh, Atomic Phoenix page on the quantumheat.org website. Uh, and uh, he found that there were these SCRs, which uh, he doesn't know exact use of what they are, but I imagine um, there's some opto-isolators firing these uh, SCRs and maybe power control. Anyhow, um, there's some very nice images that he's produced and uh, I've adjusted uh, to make them square uh, as part of the board layout. Uh, and so you can look at those in your own time. They are high resolution. And uh, the thing that he did actually, uh, here's the, the uh, component that uh, David Davis found. Um, the, the thing was he actually bought some new... Um, ribbon cables I'll come on to that um, now we had this transformer issue where we need this 380 volt uh, 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 kind of transformer and this was looking like it was going to cost around about uh, I think eighteen hundred dollars and uh, uh, so we haven't got that money at th this time however he says that it, he has a colleague from a tech college which might be able to supply <clears throat> a suitable transformer that would at least get everything up and running. It might not have the um, power, uh, total power uh, output necessary to run the device at full throttle, but uh, it may be able to at least get us to uh, trial it. And the great thing is that in this update, this is the big win, so thank you to Systems Engineer. Uh, he found uh, some new, I've uh, got some new longer flat ribbon cables to replace these uh, rather grimy and, and probably uh, perished cables uh, or uh, not contacting optimally cables and uh, he said that uh, I replaced the flat ribbon cables I got a long one so that I could lay out the controller and panels on my table for active debugging and it worked the LED displays now show legitimate data and the touch panel uh, responds that means the CPU and code is probably still working okay. The panel meters respond to analog inputs as well. I now, I have now evaluated all of the components on the board and understand their function. I am in the process of building a detailed schematic of the CPU and digital components on the main controller board. So um, uh, this is a really, really uh, good news. So fantastic work by systems engineer. Um, he has uh, got some, uh, as many of us have, uh, issues at the moment uh, with the uh, uh, restrictions of movement and specific things in his life uh, that he needs to work to. So this um, is going to um, cause him to pause at this stage. However, um, uh, it's looking very, very encouraging that the bulk of the electronics doing deed function and that will help with working out uh, the tracing and that will help out with working on, uh, out what's going on with the programming ultimately and if this power supply uh, does uh, deliver sufficient power to make everything running there's a real good chance that we we can have an active bn 2000 to test later in the year so thank you very much uh, it's a really good update and i'll look forward to seeing you in the next video